Co-management, also called community-based management, community-based resource management, cooperative management, joint management, and collaborative management, in the broadest terms refers to the administration of a particular place being shared between two entities. In Canada, it usually refers to agreements between government agencies and representatives of Aboriginal peoples in Canada to jointly make land use and resource management decisions about a tract of government-controlled land or a fishery. Parks Canada CO manages several Canadian national parks with local Aboriginals as the result of land claims agreements. Ivavik National Park in the Yukon was created in 1984 and is part of the Inuvialuit Final Agreement. Likewise, the Labrador Inuit Land Claims Agreement dictates CO management of Torngat Mountains National Park in Labrador, created in 2005. Proposals for new parks, such as Thetin Nene National Park, proposed, in the Northwest Territories typically involve some kind of negotiations over CO management. Not only national parks, but also provincial ones also are subject to CO management, the Hazama Lakes Wetlands Complex in Alberta is an example. A separate but related phenomenon is the joint management of parks by two governments without an Aboriginal partner. The west coast of Vancouver Island Aquatic Management Board is an example of CO management in fisheries. It consists of two members appointed by each of the Government of Canada, Province of British Columbia, the Nuuchanulth Tribal Council, the regional districts, as well as eight non-government members jointly appointed by the levels of government from the wider community.